I'm sorry about this. <laughs> I really am. But my phone just wants to be stupid and now record a lot of memory. So we gotta use the GoPro Hero 3. I know it's gonna be bad. That's so why I'm giving you a heads up. Forgive me. Hope you're not upset with me. But here is Mystery Tackle Box of November of 2016. People, you don't know how much pain I'm well, not really pain, but just a little irritated by this because I tried recording with the GoPro outside. I looked at the footage, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just god awful. I cannot see anything. It was just black and the lighting was awful. And you guys would have been like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I just want to see something good. This is just awful. I'm sorry, but this is like the best I can do right now. Because this thing right here does not want to record for, for some reason. And the recording on here and here looks pretty good. So yeah, we're just going to stay inside for recording now. And I kind of wish I kept my GoPro Hero session. But hey, what's good? Here we are, November 2016, Mystery Tackle Box. Inside, we got... What's inside your box? <laughs> Catch sticker. Reader's Digest. Random piece of cardboard, which I probably should throw away. Black Friday sales, and how they got their name, basically. I, kind of something like that. About the Catch Co. Company. Oh, that's what that's about. All right, all right. Okay. Now, let's see, let's see inside what's in the tackle box. <laughs> First thing we got is the LV300 Lucky Crap for 16 bucks. I recorded this thing so many times. <laughs> Here it is, the lipless crankbait. Good sharp treble hooks. Good rattle to it. Looks pretty nice. Hopefully the lighting's good on this one. And I really like this. Oh yeah. There used to be like this bowl thing where the lighting thing and randomly just fell last night. So that was fun. I was on this thing called You Know. It's basically a live stream. You should watch me on there. Maybe you guys know what You Know is. And yeah, that was fun. I have like 592 followers on there. So yeah. So yeah. This is pretty cool. Lipper's crank rate, I believe. Yellow and blue and black. Red eye and little faded reddish on brownish color on right there. Next thing we got football jig by Buckeye Lewis for four bucks. I always get these like jigs, but I never use them. I probably should start using them. About a half ounce. Actually, this is an ounce of weight, actually. Nice sharp worm hook. Nice skirt. That's what it's called. I call it a dress for some reason. Green, red sparkles on it. Reminds me of Christmas. It's really cool. Probably should start using those. All right. And now we're moving on to soft plastics. First thing we got is the Peco Slim New Bait, a dollar seventy-seven for four pack, and for retail three ninety-nine for a nine pack. Basically, we got these. What's it called again? Crawdads. I don't know. I forgot the name. Right here, nice crawdads. Right here, smells like root beer. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a nice pumpkin color to it, sparkles in it, pretty cool, really good design into it, I think. I've seen people get new baits before, net baits, and they seem pretty cool. I don't really use creature baits that much, I usually use worms, but I, sh I might start using like lizards and crawdads and other creature baits like that. Alright, next thing we got is the Ulcerworm by Vicarious, $1.16 for a 5 pack. And retail is 3.499 for a 15 pack. This is what the package looks like. And we got a nice worm. The only thing I don't like about this worm is the long tail. The thing that's bad about long tails is that when a fish tries to bite it, it's going to grab this. That's not where the hook is. The hook's like right here. But like the body of the... I mean this is part of the body, but the main body of the worm. So, if I was you guys, I would trim this. Some people like long tails, you don't have to trim it, but I would trim this. I usually use power bait. They got like, every, like the tail's not too long, the body's just right. And yeah, you should check out power bait. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by anybody, but if you guys 
Like using rooms, check out Power Paint. They're pretty good. And if you need to try out Gary's Senkos, because everybody uses those wacky rooms. I need to really use those. And lastly, but not least, is the Sickle Hook by Venom Lures for 94 cents. Came with two of these bad boys. They're pretty cool looking. Right there. Yeah, that's nice. Very excited about that. Probably use these for either worm or catfishing. Do like catfishing? What? Yeah. I go catfishing a lot. So yeah. Well guys, that is November's 2016 Mystery Tackle Box. And I'm kind of excited about December's one. And that's going to be really fun. I don't know why I did that. That was just weird. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me in the comments what what is your favorite thing out of the box. My favorite one was the Lipless Crankbait. It's really cool. I don't really use these a lot, but I probably should start using them. But yeah, guys. Hope you're doing good. Because I want you people to be happy in life. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, as like I already said. And as always, stay classy.